I know this piece has to pin round and that's the lock, so I mark the where the hole's gotta go. This is all pretty much, <laughs> pretty much guesswork on my part at the moment here. It really is. So I guess... Looking at this picture here where the, where the pin is, I'm guessing it's right. Oh, that shows the, shows the cutting edge. Starts way up here. Well, this obviously, I'd say, is, is not an 18th century one. It's just a, it's just a copy, but it does give me a rough idea. So, but only a rough one. I'm going to have to work this out for myself. Well, I need a fair bit of room between there and the end. So, for now, I'm going to say it's where the cutting edge starts, right there. there and we'll mark the other piece the other side here so we can get a straight line on it. I'm going to cut it across there. I guess that's the first thing to do is to cut that tine off that ankler and uh, drill that hole and then we'll see where we go from there. sudden thought halfway through. I think whilst that's firmly in the vise like that it would be a good idea for me to drill that hole in there. Let's hope we're getting it straight because I don't know any other way of getting it straight other than, well, other than by just eyeing it. There we go. Okay, we'll finish cutting it. Beautiful. Okay, I've drawn some pencil marks on there where I want it to go. saw with a wide enough blade except uh, <laughs> on a huge cross cut saw and I can't use that. So it looks like I'm going to have to make two separate cuts. I have to work it inside the mark because the pencil mark was made on the outside of the blade and that would make it much too wide. might be a better way of doing this, but if there is, I don't know. It's going to be a slow and steady job. Okay, I've got as far as I can go using a saw. If I could cut right through this tip out the end, which I could do, but I don't think it would look as good. Uh, it would be easy to do, but... Uh, so what I'm going to do is try and use a chisel. I'm going to, I found a very small one. It's still bigger than I would have wanted. Uh, I've never tried using a chisel on handler. So with heart in mouth, <laughs> I, will, I will attempt 
cut the groove out. 